Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Dee's Precious Nursery. I have a box opening. Um, this was an impulse buy, definitely, because I do have babies on layaway. Um, but I had to get it. It's going to be a twin to my other baby. It's from the same artist, which is awesome. Um, feeling much better since I had COVID. Uh <clears throat> Yeah, I'm COVID-free now. <laughs> well, I've been COVID-free for a couple days just still. For some reason, the uh, COVID really does take a toll on you. Um, after you're done having COVID, when you start testing negative, your body is still like trying to recuperate. It's like still weak. My body's still tired. Um, but I don't have any of the COVID symptoms, so I know I'm definitely COVID-free. Um dyed my hair this week. This is my natural color. I think it's a little bit darker than my natural color, but it's going to be so much easier to take care of. Um, I don't get a lot of gray hair. I'm one of the lucky ones. I don't lose any of my hair. I'm one of the lucky ones there. But um, yeah, I'm still in my jammies. I was getting ready to get dressed. Um, and then I got an update that I had a delivery and I was like, oh, wow, it's kind of early. And so I went on my doorstep and there it was. So I was like, there's no way I'm waiting to open this baby. So shower and dress, we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. My nursery is in disarray right now. I am going through all my baby clothes, brought them all down from the other room, bags and bags and bags of it. I have issues. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. I just see cute things and I buy them at yard sales and stuff like that. And now I am just overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. So I'm going to be going through all my baby clothes. Right now I'm just folding them and separating the girl clothes from the boy clothes. I'm going to do the boy clothes at another time. And I'm separating them by size. And then what I will do is I will go back to those clothes and go through them and keep what I really, really like and then just sell what I don't. Um, I know I buy a lot of my clothes for like a dollar or two a piece, so that's probably what I will sell them for. Um, yeah, I just, I just can't keep all these clothes because I go to the stores and stuff and go to yard sales and go to the thrift store and I see clothes that I really want. And I've been lately holding back, like not buying any, only because I've got just too much. And it's really hard not to buy a cute outfit when you see a cute outfit. And I'm sure everybody can relate to that and look at a baby and say, oh, I think that baby will look cute. So yesterday I counted my reborns. I haven't really counted them in a while. And counting the ones that I have on layaway, um... I have four on layaway right now. I know that's so bad. So bad. I have four on layaway and this one came today. And then I have another one that is due next week. Um, it is my first over the seas baby. Um, it's made by a Russian artist. Cannot pronounce her name. I'm not even going to try. Um, but she looks gorgeous. I can't wait to get her um, and open her. Oh, I've never had a baby from overseas, so this will be my first one. But, um, yeah, let me get into this baby. Um, my futon is a mess right now. I've got baby sitting here, and I've got some clothes sitting on here. But, yeah, let's get into this baby. Gonna bring you down. Don't mind, I'm in my night clothes. <laughs> let me pull that down. I'm sure nobody wants to see my legs. Maybe it needs... I usually do this before. I do have a, a box cutter, but for some reason the tips the tip of this works a whole lot better. So I just use that. I already took off the addresses. Now this artist here, I have right now three of her babies. This is her the fourth one by her, and I have one on layaway with her. Um that's that one I'll probably be getting probably in January. And then I have, I think, one coming in February. And then the, the rest will be coming in 
March. Hopefully I don't buy no more babies. I really cannot afford to buy any more babies. I really can't. Um, so let's get into it. Oh, the COA is right on top. Oh, look at how pretty. Oh, I just, I did my Christmas tree yesterday and, um, I don't know. For some reason, I can't find my tote with all my ornaments. I got to find it because there's garland that I have in a little baggie. kind of like fell apart, but I stick it on my tree every year. I've had my own tree since I was um, 19. And when my children were little, it's the same garland that was on the tree from back then. And I just keep it in a baggie and I put it in the tree. And Oh, look at this. Okay. And you can tell it's going to be a girl because here's some little Christmas hair pieces. Oh, I li really like them. And I guess this is something you can actually clip these on this. But look at that. That is really cute. And it's got some little decorations in here. Right, let's get started. Let's see what's in here. Oh, another one. I think she sent me one of these already. So, yes, this is going to be a twin to one of my babies. Oh, I really like that. And a little diaper. Oh, look. For Christmas. Oh, this will look so cute with the little hair piece in the bed for Christmas. And a baby bottle. She has her card in here. No, it's just a baby bottle. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. And another one of these outfits. I love this outfit. This is so neutral. It can be for a boy and a girl. And out of the, 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 this is the fourth baby. Out of three out of the four babies got an outfit like this. And I love it because it can be for a boy or a girl. It's really cute. Oh, my cat's crying at the door like, Mommy, where are you? And a little hat. Oh, oh this blanket is so soft. Oh, here is the pacifier. Oh, I really like that. That's really pretty. It has a little bear, a yellow bear. It says Mama. And then a little... Darker bear in front of the mama bear. Okay. Oop, I got the camera. Well, I know I got baby feet here. I got a baby. This is the twin right here. Let's see. And I'm sure she's going to be beautiful just like the other three. Let's see. Let's do her little. There's her bee. There's her other foot. I know, I don't. Everybody undresses their babies. Oh, look. Oh, she's really cold because it's cold outside. And everybody, I'm sure, will be able to tell what baby she is. Yeah, for the best part. Look at her. Oh, you got flat hair. We're going to have to puff that up. We're going to have to puff that up. 
Look at her. Yes, I know I have another one that I named Riley, but this is from a different artist. Now let's put her next to her twin. Look at her. Her hair's a little flat, but she has very nice hair. Very nice hair. It's just a little flat right now. We'll have to wet it and curl it up. But here is her twin. Look at that. So now I have four Joanna kits. I have two Joanna wakes and two Joanna's asleep. But they all look so different. The other two have painted hair. These two have rooted hair. Her hair seems a little thicker than hers. But that's okay because not all twins are alike. They are different. Unless they are identical twins. These are not identical twins. Well, in a way, I guess they would be. But it's okay if one has more hair. I'm sure I can make some really cute. But look at my twin girls. Yeah. Now, her name is Mila. And Mia, this one needs a name. Don't have a name for her. I'll come up with one. I'm pretty sure I will. But look at how cute they look together. That's why I had to get her. Now, I did. I kept looking at her and kept looking at her and was like, no, nah, I don't need her. I don't need her. I already have a Joanna Awake. And then my friend Maricel's like, you need her in your collection. You just need her. And I'm glad I listened to her and I got her because I'm very happy with her. And I think she looks really cute with her twin sister. I really do. I think they make cute twins together. And they're made from the same artist. Gladys, Sals, you have gorgeous babies. Oh, I got to stop looking at your babies because they are gorgeous. And this little girl's by her too. This is one of my absolute favorites. I've never wanted a Gabigal baby. But when I saw this baby on her on Reborns.com, I was like, oh my gosh, that baby's gorgeous. And I am so glad I got her. She's the one I took to Disney with me. And Universal. She is absolutely stunning. She's definitely one of my favorites in, in my collection. But um, yeah, I'm really high there on the Reborns. I've got like now, with the ones coming, I'll have 44 Reborns. That is not including any other doll in my collection. 44. Who needs 44 dolls? Like, obviously, I guess I do because I have 44. And if I would have never sold ones that I sold, um, I'd probably be close to 100 Reborns. But, you know, sometimes you have to sell to get other Reborns, and that's what I do. But 44, that's a lot. Now I'm going to be starting, um, I'm going to bring the camera back up. I'm going to be starting, um, it's a doll of the day. Um, may, might not be every day, but I'm going to try. Um, my honey is going to come in my reborn nursery without me in there. And he is going to take one of my babies. I will not know which one it will be. And he will put it in a box with an outfit to change it into. Hopefully he does the right size because then the baby's going to look funny. But anyway, and that will be my baby for the day besides me picking out one. So it'll actually be two for the day. And I'm excited to do this. It's going to be something different. Um, it's something that I have not seen on the YouTube channels. Um, and it'll be a surprise baby for the day. It'll be a surprise baby for the day for me. And it'll be a surprise baby for anybody that is watching my channel. Um, so I'm probably going to start that. I don't know if I'm going to start it today or start it tomorrow, but it will definitely start tomorrow. If not today, I'm really excited. It's going to be exciting. It'll be like, you know, that high you get from opening a baby opening a new baby. Even though it won't be a new baby, it'll be a new baby for the day. And I will personally not know what baby it'll be. It'll be opened on the channel. 
So I'm kind of excited about doing that. It'll be something different, something unique that I've never seen. Let's hope he picks out outfits that are the right size for the baby. Because no matter what outfit he picks, I got to put it on the baby. So I'm hoping he does good. I'm trusting him with that. But um, yeah, so I guess that's all for now. Um, I'm going to try and come on later and do a video. Hopefully I could do a surprise baby of the day. It's going to be really hard. I was going to just do the video out in the living room so that I don't see what baby's missing. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right into the nursery, right into the futon, not look around and do that opening right on camera so that I don't get a good view of, of my nursery because I would, I think I would notice a baby missing from its spot. So I want to thank everybody for watching and for those subscribers. I'm very thankful that you have subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't already subscribe and then you get to see the baby of the day when I start doing it, I'm going to try and do one today. I'm so excited to start this new thing. <laughs> so I wish everyone a good day and subscribe to Dee's Precious Nursery. Bye now.